that message has been transferred to um, whoever it is or is our destination, and they have to be able to decrypt the message in order to figure out exactly what the message was in the first place. So in order to do that, what they need to do is essentially the opposite of the process that we had. So we multiplied numerical couples here and here by a cipher key here and here. So if you multiply any number by something um, you know, arbitrary, six, five, whatever it is, in order to get back to your original, you simply divide it by six or divide it by five. So you essentially multiply by the inverse. So the same should be true of hill ciphering. So if we have these new values here in terms of what we represent the original 8 and 5, we have 13 and 18. If we multiply that by the inverse of this matrix here, then we should be back to 8 and 5, if that was the theory. So we need to find the inverse of our matrix. 7, 7, 1, 2, 3. Well, the first thing that we know we have to do in the matrix world is we have to do that. And that's the difference of the diagonal products. So that's 7 times 2 minus 7 times 1 minus 1 times 2 times 7. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to alter the matrix. Top left changes the position of the bottom right, and the top right and the bottom left change sign. Okay. Now, in typical matrix arithmetic, what we do for the inverse um, is we get the determinant and we get the multiplicative inverse of the determinant. So it would be 1 over 7 multiplied by this newly altered matrix. However, in modular arithmetic, um, that's not the case. Um, as explained in class, uh, we've got a table of modular reciprocals. Uh, in the base that we're working in, in 26, the, the lookup value for 7 in terms of its modular uh, reciprocal is the value 15. Okay, So that's the value that we have to use. So just signifying what we're doing here is the inverse of 7 in modular arithmetic of 26 is 15. So we then multiply 15 by our newly altered matrix. Now, again, because of what we have here, um, and again, within the constraints of the modular base that we're working in, in being 26, we have numbers here that are, again, larger than 26, so that creates an issue for us. So we need to do some modular arithmetic on this, and we need to convert those into numbers that are within our acceptable range. So 30 mod 26 gives our number of 4. 105 mod 26, sorry, minus 105 mod 26 gives a result of 25. And again, as explained in class, you just keep adding 26 to it until you get a positive number. Uh, 15 minus 15 mod 26, if you get into the positive domain, is our remainder of 11. And 105 mod 26 gives our remainder of 1. So there you have your inverted matrix. So to decrypt the messages, we simply multiply that inverted matrix, 425 by 11 times 1, by our enciphered pairs, which we already remember uh, from just up here, the values that we had, which was this one, 13 and 18 would represent M and R. So 
so I'm multiplying those out and we get values of 52 plus 450 and so then this would be 11 times 13 is 143 and 1 times 18 is 18 so let's just work that out Now again, we've got a problem because uh, these numbers here are larger than 26, so we have nothing to relate them to. So we need to do mod 26 to find out whether remainders are left. So we then get the square root of 8 and we get 5, which is equivalent to the alphabetical characters H and G. So uh, the last couple of letters that we have. last two are n and r, which we know from our enciphering are corresponding to 14 and 18 in the first alphabetical position. So multiplying these out, we get 56 plus 25 times 18 is 450. Times 14 gives us 154 plus 18. So we're working a little bit quicker than that. 506 and 154 plus 18 is 142. Again, same procedure. These are numbers greater than 26, so we need to do mod 26 on them to find out where they are. And when we do that, we find out that we have. 12 and 16 as the corresponding remainders. Again, align that to where they appear in the alphabet, and we will discover that 12 is L and 16 is B. So, after all that working, uh, we can see that our corresponding letters are H, E, L, and G. So, there we go. That's our first off enciphered message give us a ciphertext of MR, MR from help, and then the process for calculating the, um, the, decrypt the decryption key, uh, which is our inverted matrix, multiplying that by our ciphertext couples, and we get back to the original messaging.